installing the genuine Lexus GX crossbars. Packaging was rather nice. Came with instructions. Pretty self-explanatory. Net net. There is a designation for which side is front, meaning it should point towards the front of the car. It gives you a nice little tool here. It took me a minute to figure out what that was. And let me show you. It looks like this. So, situate this. This was pretty nifty. It took me a while to figure out what was happening here. So it looks like it's just a, it's just a regular hex star, whatever you want to call it, um, little Allen key. And then there's this plastic piece on the bottom and this red tab here. And note, there's a little slit right there. I was trying to figure out what this was all about. And I figured this was just to make sure I didn't scratch the, the roof rack when I was, you know, when I was tightening it. And this plastic probably just saved it from that. And it took me a while. I had no idea what this tab was. I was trying to move it up and down. And to be completely honest, looking at the, uh, looking at the instructions, doesn't really say. I mean, you know, all it says is tighten clamps four places okay whatever that means and this right here for those of us that don't really like to read instructions once crossbars are in correct position use the torque tool to tighten eight newton meters the clamps onto the side rails okay so then i figured out this basically what this does is Yeah, I'm right here, big guy. Okay, one second. I'm making a video. All right, go inside. I'll be right there. All right, so minus that little interruption. What this does is basically, as you tighten this, all right, as you tighten it and you're pulling on this, imagine this is stuck, right? This is stuck somewhere and you're pulling on this, this little guy is gonna move. Keep your eyes right here into the slot. When it's just tight enough, it's gonna move into the slot right there, and it's gonna tell you that that is eight Newton meters. That is amazing for those of you that don't happen to have a torque wrench handy with this little, uh, with this little hex bit. So now let me show you in operation. All right, so that little bit goes there. There you go, it's in. Hopefully this works and you can see it. Because I've gotten nice and tight. Well, let me do it this way. So I can see it myself. Got that little clip there. And as I tighten this, that'll come into view. And now you know that you're nice and tight. That's amazing. All right, so now a little bit about quality. Look at this garbage. Thanks, Toyota, Lexus. I don't know if you guys can see, let me zoom in here. Look at the quality on that. Almost 200 bucks shipped, and that's the garbage you get. Maybe I should have got the, uh, the Amazon version. It was 100 bucks, where this was 171 I think, from some Lexus dealership in Arizona, I believe. But either way, long story short, you got to put it right here. This is your spot. Okay, that's your load spot. Try to get it in the middle. See those clips right there? Well, let me sh show you on this guy.
point is, try to squeeze that. See that? Hold on, let me put the camera down. Hopefully you can see that. They're spring loaded. So you just squeeze that, get it in there, and snap itself into place. Arrow says forward. Nice and snug. Just make sure this is sitting between that. That's the guy I got it tightened. Now I'm gonna go on that side and just make sure that that guy's nice and tight. Enter this guy. Yep, nice and snug. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to move it back so I can actually see when I'm getting tight. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I think this is it. And there we go. I see it peeking through. That's nice and tight. Coming back to this guy now. One more. Almost. It's a little hard on the black car, but there we go. I see it peeking through and we're done. Okay, let's look at the end result. So, there it is. back that's the front again quality sucks on this one right here that one's all right I guess there's another one right here I could have moved it back if I wanted to and that's the final result Lexus GX crossbar install